Discussions allow you to have a conversation with your classmates and teachers. You can respond by typing in the text box, sharing work to get feedback, and even record yourself with a microphone or camera. Let's take a close look at how to use discussions in Schoology. You can access a discussion by clicking the title in the upcoming area. Another way to open a discussion is to enter a course and click on the title of the discussion. Both ways will take you to the discussion prompt. This is where the teacher will include instructions along with any extra resources you might need to reference, like images, videos, or attachments. If your teacher is grading the discussion with a rubric, it will also appear in this area. After reviewing the instructions, click Write a Comment to open the rich text editor and begin typing. You can also click Reply below a post made by another student or teacher. Replies to a comment can be hidden or displayed by clicking on the Replies arrow. Typing, however, is not the only way to participate in a discussion. When you click Write a Comment, you will see the option to attach a file or link, and also the option to record a response using the microphone and camera in your device. Notice that the Post button is gray, and you cannot submit your reply until you have typed in the comment box. This means that if you choose to attach a file or use the record feature for your discussion contribution, you must first type at least one letter in the response field, then select your file or click the microphone to record. In this example, the student typed his name, then attached the extra item. Notice how the Post button is now dark blue. Click it to finish your comment. If you don't see your post appear right away, try refreshing your browser. This will also show you the posts made by your classmates. If you open a discussion for the first time and see that there are gray bars covering your classmates' posts, that simply means your teacher wants you to post your own comment first before seeing and replying to your classmates' comments. Once you make the post, Refresh the browser and your classmates' posts will become visible. Now you know how to use discussions in Schoology. Take a moment to see if your teacher has included any in a course. Let's take a look at how to submit assignments on Schoology. First, let's see where we can find our assignments. The first place you might find assignments are on your upcoming panel on the right side of your screen once you log into Schoology. You'll also see assignments listed in an upcoming calendar when you are inside of one of your Schoology courses. You can also find assignments inside of folders in your course. Clicking on the name of the assignment will take you directly to that assignment. When you open the assignment, you'll find the assignment directions. Your teacher may have attached some links or embedded links inside of the directions. You may see a rubric at the bottom of the assignment, and that will let you know what is expected of you when completing this assignment. You also may find a comments area at the bottom of the assignment. This is where you could ask your teacher questions about the assignment. These comments can be seen by the entire class, though. This is not where you complete the assignment. After reading the directions carefully and reviewing any attached resources from your teacher, click Submit Assignment. Click the File button to upload a document from your computer as your submission. Alternatively, your teacher might ask you to use the microphone to record an audio or video response. This could be reading to your teacher, recording for a band or choir assignment, you can use the box below if you'd like to leave your teacher a note about your assignment. You may also choose to use the Create tab. Here you can type something like a short answer, or even if you need to send a link to an attached website. You can submit your draft or save it using these two buttons below. Don't worry if you accidentally send the wrong thing. 
can always use the resubmit button to resubmit your assignment. The resources tab will let you pull in documents from associated apps like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. As long as you see the resubmit button, you can submit work even if the due date has passed. Once you've submitted your assignments, you can wait for your teachers to review them. You'll see grades posted both in the grades panel or inside the document when your assignment has been graded. On occasion, your instructor might use a Google Drive assignment. This is just like a regular Schoology assignment, but it uses your Google Drive account. As soon as you click on the assignment, you'll be brought to the Assignment tab. Here, you'll see the description of the assignment, as well as any resources, information, or directions that your instructor included. If you'll be graded on a rubric, you'll see that included here as well. To begin, click on the My Document tab. This will launch a document supplied by your instructor that lives in your Google Drive account. At this point, you can begin working on the document directly in Schoology. If you click the Edit button, the document will launch in a new tab for you to work on. You can also work on the document anywhere you have access to your Google Drive. Work on the assignment at your pace. At times, you may see your instructor adding comments about revisions or suggestions. When you've completed your assignment, simply click the Submit Assignment button. Once you've submitted the assignment, changes made to it inside of Google Drive will no longer update the document. If you submit the document by mistake, you can click Unsubmit and continue working as long as your instructor has not graded the submission yet. When you want to get back to your course materials, simply use the breadcrumb links at the top of the screen. Once graded, you can see your grade inside of the assignment itself on Schoology or in your Grades tab.